Yo, what's up guys? Uh, it's Fiji here. Uh, in this video, I'll be going over some of my movements, uh, SOG, recoils, and my settings. Uh, I'm gonna start off with my settings first. Uh, if you wanna pause the video, just put it or jot it down. I play 12-12, uh, vertical and horizontal sense, my ADS sensitivity. If anyone not, if any, if anyone does not know what ADS sensitivity is, it's when you aim down sights with any gun. So mine, I have it as 0.75. If I have it as 0.25, watch how fast it will aim. You see how slow it's going? And now I'm gonna put it back up to 0.5 now. So it's going a little faster, right? I'll put it up to 0.25, which I play on. Yeah, it works the best for me. When you're strafing in a gunfight, you always want to make sure your aim down sights is going as fast as you're strafing. And for your high zoom sensitivity, it's when you're using a 4x scope or a higher. So let me pull out my sniper. So here I have it as point, let me put it down to 0.25. You see how slow it's moving? And for the high zoom sensitivity, if you read to the side where it says ADS sensitivity, uh, I mean high zoom sensitivity, adjust your sensitivity while aiming down sights with the 4x scope or a sniper scope. So if you have a 3 times scope or a 2 times scope, it's gonna go fall in the category as ADS sensitivity. So yeah, this is a high zoom sensitivity right here. It's for your sniper scope. I'm gonna put it back up to what I do it, which is 1. You can see the difference how fast it goes, obviously, right? You can see that. So yeah. And what's the next is target assist is when you're aiming down the sights with any gun. I don't have a bot here, fuck. I should have had a bot. But it's when you're aiming down a sight. Say there's an enemy right here, and I'm like strafing against him. My sights will stay on him, kind of. But I'll have to do more of the, uh, the, the control. But if I have it off, I'll have to do full control of it. I won't get any assist at all for the target. And aim assist is when you're, oops, sorry about that. Aim assist is when you're hip firing and say that you're playing Alcatraz, which most of you guys watching my videos probably do play Alcatraz. Say that I get one person knocked right here, right? There's a guy right here. And there's another guy right here. If I'm running towards the middle, it's going to go down to this guy because my aim assist will lock onto him. But if I'm trying to kill this guy without, without dying, it's going to be kind of hard with aim assist on because it's going to lock onto this guy. So that's why I have aim assist off. Uh, that's just my preference. Some people think aim assist like helps them, but aim assist gives you more freedom. Uh, control of vibration, you guys know what that is. Uh, I don't like it on because I don't like anything moving on my controller when I'm shooting. Sprint cancels reload. This is the first Call of Duty I think. I uh, know Black Ops Three, Cold. Uh, yeah, yeah, Black Ops Three, Cold War, and this game is the only game where you can reload while running. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if World War II had that, but I know for a fact Warzone doesn't have that. Which is a really good feature of this game in Cold War. I like that a lot. But if I have that on, watch. Wait, what? Sprint cancels me. Okay, so say that I'm... Yeah, you, you, yeah, you can't really run if you reload. Yeah, I, I don't like that feature. For my gameplay, I don't like that feature. I have it off. Auto mantle, uh, it's like kind of the same as off, but say that I jump, it mantles for me. I'm not even pressing X. It's doing it for me. It's doing it for me. I'm not doing it at all. Now, if I have that off, it's, you won't see that. Let me turn it off for you guys. Oh, whoops. See? I have to press X twice to mantle. I like having it off because if you're running and there's multiple people you're fighting, you, you can't afford to like lose time and mantle something you don't want to mantle. Uh, my stick layout, I play default. Uh, button layout, default. Some people play tactical. I can't play tactical for some reason. I tried, but I play claw, which is another different video. I play claw, so it doesn't really help for me. So I just play default. Uh, I play flipped and this is the biggest thing why people think I have a strike pack 
Let me pull out my pistol if I have. Do I have a pistol class? I do have a pistol class, but it's a regular pistol class. Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do for you guys first is I'm gonna show you the difference. Whoops. I'm gonna show you the difference between L2 and R2 shooting. This is R2 shooting right here. This is if I switch it back to default, which I don't play on. This is how fast my trigger finger is. Not that quick, right? It's not that quick at all. But if I switch it back to regular, the regular way that I play, flip, so much quicker, right? You see that? So much quicker. So that's something that if you guys want to take like notes on, or just flip it around to the L1R1, just experiment yourself what you think you could do. And mind you, this pistol has no attachments. Some people have attachments on their pistol when they play Alcatraz. They like to have a silencer, a body, and silencer or extended barrel, uh, extended mag, laser sight, grip, all that good stuff. So it's a regular pistol. But yeah. Now we'll go to a little advanced movements. First one I'm going to show you guys is the slide stop, aka slide cancel. So there's two ways of slide canceling. There's a slide aim down sight, slide press circle again, or your slide button again. So say that there's an enemy right here, okay? Say that there's an enemy right here. Like literally right standing right here. And you and you know he's right there. You know he's right there. If you want to like fry him in the gunfight, but in order to do this, your centering has to be on point. So when, when I mean centering has to be on point, you have to make sure all these three right here, not this one, your horizontal, your vertical, or your ADS sensitivity, you have to make sure it's, you're comfortable with all three of them. Because if you slide and your aim is all over the place, that guy's going to probably, he's probably aiming down the slide already because he knows you're there. He's probably pre-aiming. So what you're going to need to do is just slide aim right on him. So like I said, you just slide, right, aim right on him. Slide, aim right on him. Whatever you slide with, and aim. Whatever your aim down side button is. Just practice that in this position right here when you guys get a chance. Uh, if you want to set up split screen, set up an enemy right here or you can get a friend. I don't know if what you guys would prefer, but this is a very good uh, gunfight technique. Slide, aim down right. It's called the slide cancel, obviously, as you can see. It's very good in this game, especially in this game, because the slides in this game are very OP. If you have the perk mobility and Alcatraz on too, it's even more crazy. My crack doesn't know what that means. <laughs> but if you're looking to get some, like, more advanced futures on your game this is one of them because on the other on the i'm gonna try to go to theater one after this and, and show you guys how it looks on a bird's eye view but just, just practice that all right next one i'm going to show you is the same as the aim down sight slide cancel but this slide cancel around corners quickly so what you want to do same thing but pretend there's no enemy here this one's for your movement what you want to do is slide cancel what, what i mean by that is the same thing but press the slide button again but press it once you get around the corner so say that when i move around the corner i got boom you see how fast i got out of there say that there's a guy chasing me right here and i'm one shot uh i pull out my smg or my fist whatever guns like smaller so your mobility is faster just move around the corner quickly Make sure that he doesn't like kill you, like just try to chase you. That's a very good move right there. Try doing it. Uh, my slide button is circle, so what I do is hold circle and then tap it again to stop it. I'll show you. Boom. 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 So yeah, uh, if you guys want to try that, it's that's a very good move right there. Um. Another move I can show you guys is an also for a gunfight. It's a uh, slide jump across corners. So the same thing here the, as the first one. You guys remember the first one, right? Slide, aim down sight. This one is going to be slide, jump, aim down sight. You guys know how to slide and jump, right? Slide, jump, aim down sight. 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 But yeah. 
if you guys want to try all these moves you could always go to nuketown set up some bots um set up a split screen partner or get some friends to try this with uh most of the people that i play with they know uh you could always hit them up people like godly stacks quadrineros uh genocide xbh all those guys they know they know this stuff but for those players that are looking to get their head in the game more and i watch our streams they always ask our sensitivity and like how are we so good like it's not about being good it's about having knowledge on the game's mechanics you know what i mean especially in this bo4 of this game it's so it's so easy to move around it's so hard to get around quick though so you have to abuse the mechanics Okay, so the next one I want to show you guys is obviously my favorite gun, the SOG. This bad boy right here. It's literally my favorite gun in the game. I've been using it for the past three years. Uh, this is me re uh, controlling the SOG without uh, like controlling it, like with the uh, recoil. This is just me shooting it. You saw the recoil pattern, right guys? It was going up, left, right. You saw that, right? Watch it again. Saw that right? It went up a little bit, left, and then right. I'm do it one more time. Saw that right? Okay. Yeah. To control the SOG's recoil, all you gotta do is just hold your uh, your analog stick, the right analog stick, to the left a little bit. Hold on, let me do a little better one. Okay, you see the difference between me actually trying to control it and me trying to control a little bit and now i'm gonna show you without me controlling it you're gonna see it go up left and then right watch see look up left right up left right i'm gonna show you again a little bit right there see but this time I was a little closer to the, the bus up left right show you guys one more time Okay. Yeah, this works. Okay, this is me not controlling the SOG recoil. I'll show you guys one more time. Me not controlling SOG recoil. Look, those two look very similar, right? Now this is me controlling the SOG recoil. See, it's more straight. More straight. This is a very big thing with the SOG. If you get the SOG's recoil down, it's it will be a beast with this gun, I'm telling you guys. But yeah, if you guys like the video, please like, comment, and share. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, I would really appreciate it.